Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 537. I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. So first up is... New Symbiote Halloween Wardrobe for Pony Plushies. Yay! Um, the best month is just 30 days away, more or less give or take. Uh, and that means it's time to get prepared with Halloween festivals. Symbiote, uh, symbiote, mm, symbiote has posted up a brand new costume set for a bunch of their plushies. But it uh, it fits the ponies too, including the um, sorry, include uh, included are the street back cape leggings and the uh, uh, and witch hat. Get them over here. So let's see what they have. <clears throat> so uh, this is the Bio Studios. They make um, the pony plush and so on if you if, if you um stick to the news uh, i've reported on that a few times now and yay so hmm. oh restocking cool twilight so anyway um what they have here is costume packs uh like for halloween costume wardrobes so you can buy them and put it on your ponies or if you have some of their other plush uh, you could put them on uh, this raccoon, or the Transformers, or even their mascot cats. So, that's pretty cool. For $10, you can add them to almost any plush that you have. That's pretty awesome. And uh, looking at the plush that we have here, okay, um, so they give you four leggings, a pouch or bag. I, I think they say um this set includes one hat, one jack o' lantern, treat bag. Okay, so that's a bag, a uh, cape and a hat, a witch's hat. So it seems that the witch's hat can be put on almost all of their plush. Not hundred percent sure how they're gonna stick. The cape looks good. And I think they can mm, they're, they're not really doing a good job with the cape. So yeah, I think the cape can be put on almost all of their plushes. It would be stupid not to. And yeah, this is kind of cool. Uh, you 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 can what? Um, uh, you you can mix and match. So if you have two, you can do what? Hat here, leggings on four of them. One can hold a uh, trick bag, and one wear a cape. I mean, it, it's pretty cool. And for 10 bucks, if you have this, why not, right? So, yay, um, that's with uh, Symbiote. Let's move on to another one. So, another one is six series of G4 trading card appears in China from Hayu. So, we get another set of cards coming from China as their fandom continues to boom. They've got everything from backgrounds to main ponies with a variety of neat art styles and outfits for them all to wear with 152 in all. Hopefully we get these cards in the United States of America and elsewhere sometime. Go check them. <coughs> oh, sorry. Oh, go check them out below, including all the Steepony designs and stuff taken from IDW Comics. Uh, oh, let's see. Okay, um, so, mm -hmm -hmm. oh, that's fascinating. All right, so let's break it down. Let's break it down for you guys at the home. So what this is, is basically a trading card pack that you buy and collect. I did a Patreon exclusive where I unbox and um, basically crack open a pack and show it to them. Um, I, I can just show you guys. 
something. Yeah. Um, crack a pack and get. Oh no. The yeah, this is the best I can do for now. So you you crack a pack, you get this and so on, and you get other stuff like, um, stickers and whatnot. And it, it's kind of pretty cool. The, the the system that they have was pretty cool, and it really relies on a community of col uh, a community that wants to collect them all and um just get a bunch of them and well complete the set <clears throat> so yeah but that's that's trading cards in a nutshell but anywho uh for this one what uh there, there's category of what you'll get uh i'm not 100 sure what you get in a pack but from what i can tell uh you uh, there's categories like uh sc secret common something like that and then sgr secret gold rare i i don't know uh the 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 rarity of this is like if you play gacha you know like what there's the infamous ssr ptr uh so what they're showing to you guys here is, hey guys, this is what you can get. Uh, the SG, the SGR is the kind of, in magic terms, mythic cards that you want to get. And then we also have um, LSR and UR. Um, if you play Yu-Gi-Oh, UR would be ultra rare, but to be honest, I got no idea anymore. And then you got your PTR, um, and that's new for this collection. And so you you can get them all if you're lucky. So uh, seeing the list of cards they have here, it's not bad. Like it is pretty fascinating in terms of what you can get. But how many cards are in a pack and all that stuff? Um, do they have the breakdown here? Okay, here. So, um, there's seven SC cards, um, this one, in a set. Uh, and there's eight SGRs, which is this, in a set. And LSR. LSR is this one. So, 15, you are a... So, yeah, this basically works on the trading card system if, if you play magic the gathering or any other card games you can figure out the ah yes i understand now and we got to collect them all like they say they have 151 um what is it 150 no 152 cards available you know i'm going to pop in the calculator and uh, calculate so we got eight plus sorry seven plus eight plus 16 plus 36 plus 20 plus 20 again and plus 30 that gives give us 152 cards so yeah uh if you are a quote-unquote collector or whatnot or maybe just a fan um getting them all mm. would be pricey i guess but we don't really have much info about how much is in pack or what you get in a pack so i'm just speaking from what i've experienced with my own um purchase is that i got technically what did i get uh, technically i got what two set of cards two cards and a bunch of stickers and uh, those sticker sets are like match this card with this sticker to paste it on the card and so on. Um, it, it, it's very rather novel because uh, if you collect the uh, I forgot that brand it, it's usually with classic cartoons or sports. They, they like to do that. I forgot. It's, it's, uh, the, the logo, the, the company starts with a P and the logo is a knight with um, a knight in armor jousting. I forgot the company name, but yeah, if you know, you know. So anyway, um, 
continue on with this one. Uh, I got no idea the breakdown of what you get in a pack. And obviously, you're not going to get the uh, super special awesome cards straight away. Like, you, you have to get uh, lucky to get those SC cards or even those um, SGR cards. And like they say, there's only seven and eight cards of, of those cards in the collection. So if you do decide to get them, uh, be forewarned that if your aim is to get all of the ST cards or all of the SGR cards, you may not have, you, you may not get them on the first try. Buying a box, like I'm just stating here, buying, uh, sorry, buying a box like this one does not mean that you get everything. Best case scenario is you buy a crate and you'll probably get everything, but we got no idea how much is it and so on. And we got no idea the pool rate. Ah, uh, my magic gathering size coming out. Anyway, let's move on. Mm. Moving on. Haha. -ha. China gets even more pony cards. Food company Tala announced new set with biscuit. Ah, all right. So if you're probably wondering, how, huh, what is this? This is a new, this is another thing, but with food. Hmm. So this is this is something not how to put it. This is something not strange in terms of the um, collectible collectible card market in Japan. Um, I, I believe they have this system where uh, you buy a pack. It comes with wafer flakes, sorry, wafer biscuits or wafer something. I I don't know what you call. And there's a card inside. You open, you get food, you, you can munch on those uh, biscuits, and you get a card. How much inside? I got no idea. And the cards are pretty cool. Awesome. Anyway, um, as we take a look, see, Tala here has some pretty amazing stuff. Um, uh, yeah, nah, I don't think I will read. Let's break down of let's break down what we see here. Okay, so Tala here is producing three sets for all three generations. You have the first generation for those G1 fans, and you get your fourth generation for the G4 fans, and the G5 fans have them too. And here's something interesting. Uh they're showing that yo, uh some of these ponies have flavors. Okay. Uh, some of these biscuits have flavors. If you're into G1, you'll get milk filled biscuits. Milk cream biscuits, I think. Then um, G4 is filled with um, lemon flavored biscuits. And with 5 is chocolate or coffee hazelnut uh, flavored biscuits. And what they're trying to do here is pretty interesting. So let's open G4. G5. So you have this box that you get while buying the biscuits and some random cards. And inside those, uh, and, and the way that they want to do this is I am just <clears throat> speculating and guessing because it would be cool and a fine idea to do is that you get the box, the box has this punch out where you can pop out the um, low, the, the cover here. To insert your scene from the show and make it look like a TV, which is kind of cool if it's true. Um, from what I'm seeing here, it may not be, but hey, um, I could be wrong. And oh boy, uh, seven plus three, I, I got no idea. That could be the amount of cards that you're getting. Uh, seven cards plus three. Uh, stickers or three biscuits or something like that. Probably. Who knows? Um, I could Google translate it, but mm, that's for you to try and correct me. So yeah, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Let's move on to the last one for this week. Aha! You choose these Pinkie Pie and Twilight plushies. Back in December, we posted a concept image for a company called U2 showing off their upcoming My Little Pony plushies. 
today we finally have a teaser of the actual plushies themselves revealed over on their Twitter page. All they say about them is that they are coming. Hopefully, more is revealed soon. Okay, so uh, let's check out the December thing. I, I, mm, I don't remember. Probably I, I did. Oh no. Mm. Oh, that's cool. So anyway, um, from what I can tell here, it's basically the ponies. Okay, so a uh, short breakdown or short explanation. For you guys who got no idea who you twos are, they are a plush making or merchandising making company that works with YouTubers most of the time. Uh, they work with MatPat, they work with uh, mm, uh, the Spear Hunter, they work with Max, uh, Maximilian Dude from, um, yeah, Maximilian Dude from his uh, fighting game channels and many others. I do believe that he worked with um, Mac McMuscles. Mac, uh, Matt McMuscles, yes. Uh, but yeah, um, so the way, the way that uh, YouTube works, operate is that they work, they collaborate with a influencer or YouTuber, however you want to call them, and they created, they, they create this merchandise which is uh, limited time only, probably for about two, a week or two weeks. That's that's the mo. So each of their product that they produce with mostly the U um, YouTubers or influencers are limited time only. But um, let's let's try and see what they have. Like I, I'm very curious with how their money making uh, strategy is. Ah, uh, all right. So with with this one, okay, okay, okay. All righty then. I understand. All right. So, uh, I, I'm partly right with my assessment. So anyway, um, seeing here, what I've discovered is that YouTubes are also into making other uh, things too. They grab, uh, they grab the license to work with. Um, Marvel for Deadpool and Wolverine to make this and Breaking Bad and so on. And they sell their um, what's the word I'm looking for? And they sell their merchandise that way too. Also, there's limited time, they're limited time only, which is smart because uh, one of the few things that uh, companies have to do when getting the right to make this product or getting the license is to pay a huge sum amount. And if you keep paying, uh, for example, 10000 per whatever the agreement is, it's pretty expensive. So what they would like to do is just like, here is the money, once 10 k We'll just do this run for about however long we can do it, and that's done. No more, no more, which is kind of interesting and smart. Yeah, see, um, this is the Spear Hunter. Thirty dollars gone in five days. So if you're a fan of the Spear Hunter, get them now. Uh, this is the Overwatch limited edition. Doesn't say how long they have. Probably this is what the start of their event. So there's a lot for now. And so on and so on. So, with ponies, this is going under the category of probably uh, licensed products like uh, My Hero or Turtles or even Warcraft and X-Men and so on. So, this one is a plush like um, some of the other plush we just saw. And we did see that they have rainbow... Pinky and Twy. We got no idea about the other trees, but who knows? Uh, if it's well, uh, if it does well, maybe we get the second set for the other trees. So if you're a collector, um, hop right to it and get them. 
their plushes are about what thirty dollars for one. So um that's for you to collect. So three is ninety, not including tax and shipping. Mm. Anyway, uh that's the news for this week. And yeah, oh, wow. Can't believe that we did a back to back news week. Who the, the news for this week has been popping. Um Mostly with merchandising. Huh. I, I'm, I'm seeing a pattern now. But hey, uh, the cards are pretty cool. They look good. And if you can get them, do get them. And it's G4. G4 is a rarity nowadays. So let's move on to the next topic. What have I been doing for my week? So anyway, my week is pretty boring. I didn't do much. There's nothing exciting in terms of new stuff I've, that I've been doing. Um, in terms of um entertainment, uh, I hmm, nothing much, nothing new really. Um, I I did bought a game and I did finish it pretty fast. It's called Crime Scene Cleaners. Uh, it's a cleaning simulator game where you clean crime scenes and do whatnot, and it's pretty fun but it's a specific kind of fun where if you're into those kind of games where you enjoy the process of well cleaning and whatnot like you you don't really like to do it in real life but you like to do it in uh the digital world uh this this is the same uh concept for how wash simulator or any of those simulator games that are kind of the in thing now. So if you're into those kind of games, I would recommend getting uh, Crime Scene Cleaners. It's really fun. Also, there's secrets for you to explore, to get into and clean and whatnot. Yeah. So that's in terms of um, games. Other than that, oh, uh, for anime, um, I've been watching a bit, uh, a, a few things. One of the cool things that uh, has been talked about in my D&D party is this show called I Parry Everything and it's stupidly fun. Um, some of the titles are like the show's title is I Parry Everything and the episode title is something like I Parry a Frog. I Parry Democracy. <laughs> but you can insert anything you want and it will be cool um there's mm, it's kind of a spoiler so i won't say I, I highly recommend and go watch it because it's stupid fun so anyway um let's wrap things up let's wrap things up <clears throat> so anyway if you have any questions concerns, or suggestions for the show you can contact us at dm3gmail.com uh, you can also reach us on the twitter the show account is at mbs show and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay current. Links are in the show notes. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com uh, slash MPS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, and Master of Lag. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. And yeah, um, I recently uploaded something on the Patreon. Um, it's me cracking open stuff. Like, uh, for this one, for example, this this is empty, by the way. Oh no, I, I can't open. Yeah, it's empty, but I do like the um, uh, packaging. So I'm keeping keeping that. And uh, there's, those are full of cards. I, I, I talk about what, this, what it looks like, blah, 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 and so on. And also, um, there's a gacha pen. I, I, I didn't know that this is a thing where, um, yeah, uh, it, it, it's a gacha pen. Like, I, I didn't know that this is a thing nowadays. I've I, I seen it, but I never really pondered, like, what is this? Um, I, I remember way back in the days when I bought something from Love Life, and it was kind of a mini wall scroll. But pen? That's kind of creative. and. The, you know what? Go check out the, the subscribe to Patreon to check that one out. Like it, it's really cool. 
Anyway, um, okay. I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya.